the latest update to Sea of Thieves has been unearthed. Oh, it's Bran Bronze. And things are getting a little spooky out on the water. Oh, There's wow. a frightful fort to find, creepy cosmetics to claim, great, and shadowy skellies to smash. Incredible. So keep your lantern held high as the living cool. and dead collide in Fort of the Damned. Sure. Yeah, it's Magni, exactly. Word has come from Stitcher Jim about strange things happening at Old Boot Fort. Someone's been performing hair-raising rituals, causing the worlds of the living and dead to intertwine. Well, Only those Spongebob's willing to house. risk claiming the various Little flames pineapple. of fate oh. and securing rare ritual skulls okay, will uncover what. the mystery of this Fort of the Damned. The flames of fate are offered to players aboard the Ferry of the Damned, right. with each of the different colored flames up for grabs depending on the circumstances of your death. Okay. As for the ritual skulls, you can obtain them in a variety of ways. Duke is offering Skull Seeker Voyages that will send you across the Sea of Thieves in search for vicious skeleton captains. Okay. Dealing with these scornful skellies will see you rewarded with a treasure map. Guaranteed to lead to a ritual skull. And keep a keen eye on a ready blade, as there have been sightings of emergent skeleton captains roaming the Sea of Thieves. Take them down, and another wow. ritual skull could be yours. And if you've been hoarding gold and doubloons, you can also buy a voyage from Duke's Black Market. And also a bunch of other cosmetic bullshit. A ritual skull for Clearly. Perhaps not the most adventurous method. Why is that guy's head so big? What judge. the fuck? With your ritual skull and flames of fate secured, yeah. you and your crew will have to journey to the Fort of the Damned. So this is basically like Hellion's domain. the lanterns domain. being held out by ominous-looking ferryman statues. It's the Maw of Souls. This is giving me PTSD. Just looking at it. Maw of Souls every fucking day, man. Before offering up the ritual every skull. Every fucking day. He put the skull on the... Okay, he put it on here. Alright, what happens? This opens a window to the Sea of the Damned. Yeah. And your challenge begins. Okay. You'll have to battle shadowy lost souls using the various flames of fate before wow. facing off against a familiar foe who has returned from the land of the dead. Okay. If you can secure a victory, then yes. vast riches will be yours. What do you get? And if you've got a like spare ritual skull to hand, you can trigger the fort all over again and battle your way towards even more of the rich stuff. Oh, and for more artifact And pounds. you can use your new wealth to grab a variety of new cosmetics which have landed in Duke's Black Market. You can trade your doubloons for additions to the fearless like bone all the crusher variants that debuted I mean, like... last month, as well as Wailing Barnacle and Wild Rose cosmetics. So... And if it's gold you're looking to spend, yeah. then well, you can on, cash in for deep okay. ocean crawler equipment or a new variant of the Executive Admiral Character Cosmetics. And if you've got what it takes to complete the new Fort of the Damned commendations, you can strike fear See into cosmetics. the hearts of your enemies by purchasing the new Ferryman Cosmetics from your nearest sea outpost. Sea of Cosmetics. And over in the Pirate Emporium, there's even more new and exciting goodies okay. in store. Cool. Celebrate this spectacular season in style with the new Skeleton Marmoset and Skeleton Cockatoo. These cursed critters oh, wow. are the perfect companions Look at this. for those who understand that beauty is only skin deep. Plus, wow. there's new Bildra outfits for the wow. kitchen, Barbary, macaw, and parakeet. So you can get a fucking, and and you can get a monkey. Too. They say variety great. is the spice of life, so why not heat things up with the new variety pack? Okay. Whether you're jumping for joy over- A variety pack? Okay, that's enough. We're not getting paid for this. Yeah, this is a, ver a variety pack? Uh, wh what is this, dude? Variety is the spice of life? Oh, what the yeah, hell right. is this? Say what? What is this? What do you mean? This is... Go ahead. I mean, they say, what, beauty is only skin deep? Is the content only cosmetics deep? It only goes to cosmetics? You can only look? Like... Getting this new shit doesn't yeah. help you kill the skeletons faster. There's no, it, it doesn't feel like, like there's any progression in the game. Like, you're just where, doing the same they, shit. 
What is the progression here? Like, what what do you actually do? I, I I'm I'm I missed the whole. I missed the whole concept of why you would want to play the game to look like yeah. different variations of a pirate. Do, it's like it feels like swords, an arcade game, kind of. Do the swords do more damage if you get like a? I don't think so. There is no progression. A new player is as py- is as powerful as a pirate legend. Why? <sighs> Did anybody ask the devs like? why so here's the thing right like why do people talk about sea of thieves on twitch is because summit played sea of thieves he plays sea of thieves summit literally just hide like i've seen this right i I watch his streams pretty regularly he hides in people's boats and he steals something called athena's i don't know exactly how this works or like what it is about it but somehow he hides in their boat until a period happens and he steals the athena I'm assuming this is like a statue or something like that, right? And it's funny. Well, that's the funny part about it, right? It's the interaction between the players. It's not even the gameplay. Like, I, I can't see this and be like, oh, wow, I'm so excited about this. For your latest find, or cursing yeah. your crewmates' reckless use of gunpowder barrels. Yeah. There's something for everyone. And if you're feeling pretty sure of yourself, yeah. grab our new taunts bundle and let other players know exactly who is the captain now. And to round out this Jesus month's Pirate Christ. Emporium offerings, there's the Ultra Combo of the new Premium Killer Instinct ship livery. This full set of ship cosmetics is sure to serve you well in your many supreme victories. And the updates just keep on coming. There's new female clothing options, including dresses, skirts, and tops. How about none? And perhaps it's time for a new look with our fancy two-tone hair dyes. Wow. There's also new vivid colors to choose from, plus vivid two-tone uh, options I... that are exclusive to the Pirate Legend hideout. And get ready for a more focused experience in the arena with the arrival of a new dual sloop option. And finally, We've heard you loud and clear about how much you all want a new banjo. So here it is. What? Free really? to all players with colorful variants really, available guys? for purchase at an outpost near you. Oh my fucking god. So get ready to stare death in the face. All right. And light your way all to right. victory. All right. As you battle the fiendish foes of the Fort of the Damned. I don't know how I sat there and watched fucking like and, and I, look at all the upvotes. They're like, they love it. They Forget it. I'm gonna get myself banned. They love it. What the fuck is going on? Of course, people want to go for the co- the console audience. Uh, they, they're this is they're so happy. Who else draw a drop? Who is who else draw a drop into the shit. open the vault? Oh my god! Wow! I got this item and it's yellow. <laughs> Holy shit! The other time oh I had it, it's brown, god. but now it's yellow. Oh my god! You know, it's like what the fuck is this? This is satire. Look at this thing. Nice one, rare. Uh, Avery, can we get another thing? What's that? You want a banjo? I uh, can't wait to spend an entire play season working on a fort of the damned, only for it to be stolen whenever I finish leaving the fort. I'm still mind boggled that there isn't a human AIs. Like, a, a time to go tackle this fort. I'm totally crying tears of hype in the office break room, room at Jesus work. Jesus One, Christ. relax, bro. Like, it, it's, oh yeah, I can't wait to go home and farm out for a fucking cosmetic. Can we get a few more people for UBRS, by the way? I want to get like five more people. I want to get a quick rend run. I want to see if I can get the item, all right? And uh, I'm going to read the rest. Holy shit. Me being smart, for once, I need to study for midterms in college this week. And then see if these releases new content. Fuck midterms. We stealing hella loot this week. Where's my banjo to battle? Is this the console audience? This is embarrassing. This is em- this, this is, is the co- This is the console audience. I, I, I don't even know yep. what to say. That's what it is, actually. <sighs> this is the... This is like... The devs yeah. shitting into their mouths and then saying, Oh, thank you, devs. I'm so hyped. Oh, my God. Oh, it's so chewy. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's actually just, about it's right. So fucking, 
it's sad, dude. It really is. I, I, I don't even know what to say about this. Like, it, this is actually insane. Can we get another healer for UBRS and then I'll be ready to go? Uh, yeah, I just need a healer. I'm going to head over there. Uh, yeah, l l let's go. Spend hours farming cosmetic, does multiple mount runs and different characters. Yeah, but it's like, it's more than that because like the character progression is more meaningful. Like the, the character progression in the game doesn't matter at all. Like, there's no character progression. Like, it, WoW would not be a good game if it only had cosmetic progression. It has character player power progression. And that's another thing. People fucking hate that about current WoW. It's like, what are you going to farm for? A fucking mount. What's the mount going to do? Nothing. It's going to no. do nothing. It, it doesn't make you go faster. It doesn't make you, you know, able to avoid more damage. It doesn't shield you whenever you run around. You just look it does different. fucking nothing. You just look different. You just look different. Still better than Island Expeditions? I don't think that it is. The only good thing about Sea of Thieves is being able to steal people's shit. That's the only good thing about it, man. Uh, what a great update. Like, what are these comments? I feel like I'm reading this from, like... This is from, like, a church website or something. Like, where is, like... These are paid comments? I mean, I don't even understand. Uh, just give me a second, guys. Uh, we need one more healer. For UBRS. Can I get one more healer for UBRS? And then we're going to start this up, okay? This is fucking insane. Man, that's some hot new content. Me, I have a lot of tests tomorrow. I should start studying now. Want a new update? Man, did this guy... He, no, no, he edited this. He literally stole this other guy's comment that had yep. more fucking likes. And he... I'm downvoting him. Like, when I, when I played this, I played this for about 12 hours total. And there was there was nothing new in this update that I didn't already do within the first twelve hours of playing this fucking game. I was killing skeletons. Yeah. I was doing the sailing, and then I was playing the fucking instrument on the sea. That's it. There's there's nothing new. You're just killing skeletons. There's no progression in like your gun power or you know a fucking sword. The, the da there's no more damage. It's just it's just so fucking bland dude. like I, I I don't understand it. it's just so fucking bland there's no flavor there's no fucking soul to the game that's this is this is my experience of of, uh, of sea of thieves right here okay like this is it I went out and somehow our ship sank and this is the only thing that I've ever done in this game I I, I just like you know look at this is my favorite comment here Oh, would you look at that? My wallet's already empty. Come October payday, I'll have spent it all on this just because look at it all.